Hello everyone and welcome back to another video on my channel. As you can tell this one will be a little different as it is a Kylo Ren hero guide as you can tell by the title. And I will be going over everything that has to do with Kylo Ren ranging from his base stats all the way to his abilities to what tips I recommend. <coughs> now that is basically what I'll be going over as you can see on the screen. Uh, obviously going over his health, his damage, his stamina, as well as all three of his abilities, as well as obviously some star, the star cards that I run, and also the uh, general tips that I like to give out uh, for all the game modes. Obviously I did put 1v1s there, but that's because I enjoy 1v1s quite a bit in this game, and so I feel like it would be helpful to have some tips. So starting out with Kaloran's base stats, we have... Uh, his base health being 750 and his health regen being 250. This is pretty average for almost all the saber heroes and you'll see a pattern as we go through all the saber heroes. Uh, his base damage from the front is 125 and his base damage from the back is 165. Again another pretty average stat although his back damage is pretty nice. Uh, he does have 1.8 swings per second which is as you can see on the screen also average. Kylo Ren, statistic-wise, is a very average hero. Um, as you can see, going more into depth on his stamina, you know, he has 14 swings, both blocking and uh, swinging, just in general. And obviously, through that logic, you can do about seven parries. Now, going on to, you know, Kylo Ren's stats, he's a very average hero all around. Both his stamina, his stamina is pretty good in relation to other heroes, but that's certainly not the best in any regards. It's not as nearly as bad as Grievous or Vader with focus or without focused rage, but it is, you know, just in general pretty decent. Um, now moving on to his ability set. Now his ability set is one of the best in the game, if not the best in the game. Now, the reason I say that is because his abilities are what makes him so good. You know, when we talk about, you know, ability chains like Anakin, Vader, Obi-Wan, Rey, just things like that in general, you know, Kylo Ren is certainly up there as one of the best. Now, starting off with his left ability, we look at Pull. Now, Pull only does 10 damage, but in my opinion, I don't think that's the main reason you should be using pull. Now a, a simple tip that is up there on the screen is to pretty much always jump when using pull. Mainly because it allows you to be more mobile and it also helps the pull to actually you know, get them to your feet. Um, as you can see a, a pro is it does pull your enemies towards you and a con is it does do very little damage. Which is very true especially in comparison to Anakin's. Right? Uh, that's why I don't think pull is necessarily uh, meant to deal a lot of damage, it's just meant as a knockdown. Now, with that said, you can equip the card Harsh Pull that I'll be going over later. That does do 50 extra damage, but you'll see why I don't recommend it for hero modes. So, Pull overall is just a really great ability to get people off their feet, and a lot of times you can catch a lot of newer players or even, you know, uh, some more experienced players with the Jump Pull. Now, next up we have Frenzy. Now, Frenzy is a very, very good ability if used in the proper situations. Now, as you can see, it has a very quick cooldown. It's the same cooldown as Ray's Dash Strike at 10 seconds. Now, it does have different damage values depending on who you're hitting it against, such as 115 per hit against heroes and 160 per trooper. Right? Uh, that includes reinforcements as well which means you will 3-tap most reinforcements in the game. Now, you also do get 40% damage reduction while in use, and you also do get the third uh, hit that goes through blocks, that being a pro. Now, it does do pretty much instant damage, assuming you can at least get the third hit off. Now, I will not be going over fourth frenzy in this, because I do have an entire video dedicated to it, but Fourth Frenzy is also incredibly powerful, and it makes Kylo even more OP than he currently is. Now, obviously, a big con to this is it does leave Kylo basically open every knockdown in the game, at least on the light side. 
You know, he can be countered through by a force push, a repulse, shoulder charge, charge slam, uh, unleash, raise dash strike, uh, OV1's push, as, as well as both Anakin's pull and his heroic might, and even BB Gate's rolling charge. He can be countered by nearly every knockdown in the game. So, you know, you really do have to time Frenzy incredibly well. Alright. Kylo's Freeze is incredibly valuable. Now, while it does have a 24 second cooldown, it is very much well worth that wait. Uh, it does freeze them for around 2.5 seconds, and does leave your opponents open to being attacked. Now, whether that's through the Saber or Blasters, Kylo's best option here is to be around a team and freeze the opponent while in a team. Now, that is what makes people basically hate Kylo, and a lot of people dislike going against Kylo for that one reason, is that you can basically shred it down from full health to about zero health in the time you're frozen, assuming the other person has freeze on you. So you do always have to watch out for that. Obviously a big pro is that you do freeze your enemies and open up for follow-up attacks, even for, as well as frenzy, jump attacks, and, and other things. Right, you do have a lot of options when it comes to freeze. You do have to hit it though. Um, I would also recommend jumping while doing freeze, but you don't have to. It's, in my opinion, the lesser of two evils when it comes to not jumping. Now, moving on to star cards wise, and star cards in HVV and uh, Showdown are what I want to go over first, and then I'll move into. GA and finally I'll do 1v1s. Now to start off on HVV and Hero Showdown I would recommend the Closing In Star card which just makes it so you can leap from further away so it just helps your um, ability lock on and it's just a good card to run. Then I would use Power Reach just to pull those enemies from slightly further away just to make sure you know you are getting the maximum value for your pull. And then finally, I would use Bloodlust. It's really just to max out that frenzy and to make sure that you do you know, get the most out of your frenzy uses. Now, there are a few cards that I do want to go over as well as those three that I do recommend. Uh, I've seen people run Resilience, Power of Darkness, as well as even <laughs> you know some of the Freeze cards. I won't be going over either of the Freeze cards because I view them as basically worthless. There's also Berserking Tantrum in there. But again, there are reasons why I don't use them. Now, Resilience is a broken card at the moment. There are certain characters that you just can't get that damage reduction with, as so it's just not really a worth card overall. Uh, as well as I think Kylo has those three better options. Uh, even something like Berserking Tantrum, I would rather run over Resilience, just because Resilience doesn't actually really offer that much, unless you're around specific heroes. With that said, uh, Berserking Tantrum does allow you to use 16 swings instead of 14 swings. Not a major increase. Uh, in my testing, I got 18, but uh, from what I've seen, everyone else it is 16, so I'm going to go with that. Uh, either way, Berserking Tantrum is an okay card in HVV and Showdown, but I would not recommend it over something like even Harsh Pull, in my opinion. Uh, why do I not run Harsh Pull in Hero Modes? It's because it's just simply not worth it. The 60 extra damage does not really mean anything. right? The reason the 20 extra damage in Frenzy matters over the 50 extra damage on Pull is because Frenzy 1 comes back quicker and 2 is you get more odds of actually hitting it because that third uh, strike goes right through blocks or rolls or whatever your opponent is doing. So you do obviously get more use out of Frenzy, as well as overall you just deal more damage, right? Instead of it being 115, you do 135. And that is a substantial increase when you're talking about, you know, finishing off the hero or even dealing some, you know, damage off the start. So with that said, um, those are the star cards, closing in, power reach, and bloodlust. Now moving on to some tips, just some simple tips. Kylo is best used while in a team. 
you can solo with Kylo, but I've found some issues while going 1v2 or 1v3 or 1v4 with Kylo. Uh, mainly because he's just not built like a tank, like Vader or Obi-Wan. Even Rey for that matter, right? Uh, it's not that you can't, and I've done it successfully. It is just a lot more annoying than I'd like it to be. His abilities don't really play to that, right? He doesn't have choke that can just take people off their feet. Even freeze only freezes them for a moment, and you have to basically only get one hit, right? And frenzy just leaves you open to abilities. So it is very hard to get 1v2s off and successful. Alright, so next tip would be to use his ability sparingly, right? Uh, both his left and his right ability have some longer cooldowns, right? Just generally in the game. So it would be best to just use them wisely, right? Especially in comparison to something like Frenzy that you can spam a little bit more often. But at least use Pull and Freeze, try and use them very sparingly. You'll see me try and do that in the background uh, a few times, but overall, use them really only as, uh, you know, you're trying to get people off their feet or when you're near a team. Like, use them to your full advantage. Now, next up we have the GA star cards, which is, I really only change one star card, and it's going from bloodlust to harsh pull harsh pull is incredibly good against troopers specifically base troopers like assaults heavies specialists and officers so that is because it does 60 damage to them which basically leaves them open for a one hit kill heavies can be killed in the back by one hit after that but most troopers just need a normal swing right obviously the 150 health brings them down to 90 and then you can basically insta-kill them with one swing. That is the value of having Kylo Ren and using Harsh Pull. Uh, I would still use Closing It and Power Reach just to max out his pull. You don't need to max out his Frenzy because Frenzy will three hit, uh, it will three hit reinforcements regardless of if you have Bloodlust or not. Uh, you will two hit sometimes if they're like very slightly damaged in comparison to when you don't have it, but overall I'd rather run just power reach and just make sure I can pull those enemies from a little bit further away. Now just for some easy tips really quickly before I get into 1v1s, again abilities are your best friends in this mode and overall use them to your best ability. Right, uh, you, you can die very very quickly with Kylo Ren and uh, you'll see even in some of the streaks that I have on my channel I do end up dying in the end because Kylo does take damage very easily. Uh, especially in comparison to other heroes, because you can be easily aggressive with them. So it, it's just very important to stay mobile, use your abilities incredibly well, and Frenzy is really your best friend in GA. Now, finally, before this video ends, I'd like to go over 1v1s. Uh, hook slashes and jump swings are your best friend. Uh, be as mobile as you can, and Frenzy really shouldn't be used unless you bait your opponent's abilities. Right, baiting your opponents into using abilities is basically the key to winning NV any 1v1s in uh, in the game, as least, at least with Kylo. You know, when, when we look at uh, his usefulness and, and where uh, his success comes from, at least for me. So, overall, uh, that's pretty much it for Kylo Ren. Uh, if you'd like to see more of these, drop a like, and I hope you guys enjoyed.